how much should you charge for a deposit? This is solely up to the business owner. It's up to the project that you're working on. It could be a dollar amount. It could be a percentage. So I do anywhere from 25 to 50% of the project cost for my required deposit. So you should definitely ask for a deposit. It's gonna give you that immediate injection of working capital. So that's gonna give you the cash flow you need to get the process started. It's also gonna make sure that your client is actually invested. So they're not gonna flake out at the last second. So it's absolutely key to get that deposit. You should require the deposit when you get the approval on the quote, that whether it's 10%, 20%, 50%, whatever. Some, sometimes we require a 100% deposit up front, but you should get it before you ever start working. The deposits help us cover all of the beginning stages of the project. So that's gonna be the administrative work that goes into sourcing anything specific for the project. It's gonna cover the design services, the architectural technology phase. So that's why it's important to get that deposit up front because you're gonna be expending as soon as that contract is signed and you get to work, you don't wanna end up with a shortfall there. Let's say we're working or putting in something expensive like an AC unit, there's gonna be a high cost there. You can get the customer to cover some of that. That way you're not paying that out of pocket all at once. And let's say you have several jobs lined up. You don't want to be having all your money tied up in one spot. I ask my customer for a deposit uh, verbally when I'm on site with them. Uh, and then the second form of communication with the deposit comes via the quote in their email account. So it's important to have a really clear process on how you're gonna be asking for your deposit, where usually we're gonna take a deposit upfront before the job happens, and then we're gonna collect progressive payments as the job hits certain milestones. And we let them know that not only from the first quote, but it's also outlined in the contract in super clear terms, so that there's no questions about it once we get going. So we're either gonna do something like 10% at the beginning, and that's gonna help cover things like setting up the project, the design work, the architectural technology, and then we collect 40% when we start the job. In other cases for smaller projects, we might just go with 50% uh, right as we're starting the job so that we have that capital up front to make sure that there's no delays with ordering materials, with lining up subcontractors.